Hello! Welcome to our new lesson. For today's tutorial, I will discuss about visual media. For our learning objectives, you will define the meaning of visual media, identify the types, and know why do we study visual media. So without further ado, let's get started. So what are visual media? These are sources of information in the form of visual representations. These include photographs, paintings, infographics like charts and diagrams, videos, posters or billboards, memes, GIFs, cartoon or comic strips, and many more. By viewing these materials, we can easily understand the information we get from them since they are well presented in the various types. The most common visual media are the following. First, we have the photographs. Photographs are images or pictures made using a camera. The art or practice of taking and processing photographs is called photography. Next is painting. Painting is a painted picture. It is also the process or art of using paint in a picture as a protective coating or as decoration. Next is infographics. Infographics are visual images like charts, maps, or diagrams such as graphs used to represent data or information. Another type of visual media is the video. It is a film or television program recorded digitally. Next we have the memes. Memes are humorous images, videos, or pieces of text that are copied often with a slight variations and spread rapidly by internet users. Another type is the GIF. A GIF is a type of computer file that contains a still or moving image. GIF is the abbreviation for graphic interchange format. Another type of visual media are posters. Posters are large notices or pictures that you stick on a wall or board often to advertise something. Large posters posted on a board are called billboards. The last we have on the list is cartoon or comic strip. It is an illustration or series of images intended for satire, caricature, or humor. Since you have learned the meaning and types of visual media, let us now proceed to our exercises. For exercise number one, arrange the scrambled words to form the meaning of visual media. Write your answer on a piece of paper. You can pause the video if you need more time. Your time starts now. Okay, your time is up. The answer will flash on screen. Check your work and let's see if you got a correct answer. For those who got it, you're the best. For exercise number two, I want you to identify the visual media being described in the sentences below. Get your answers inside a box. Write your answers on a piece of paper. You can pause the video if you need more time. Your time starts now. Your time is up! Answers will flash on screen for each question. Check your work and let's see if you got a passing score. Hats off to those who got 4 and 5. Great work! For those who got 3 and below, oh, no. nice try! Keep working hard! For exercise number 3, tell the name of the visual media below. Write the letter of the correct answer on a piece of paper. You can pause the video if you need more time. Your time starts now. Okay, your time is up. Answers will flash on screen for each question. Check your work and let's see if you got a passing score. Fantastic 
work for those who got four and five. For those who got three and below, oh, no. keep on trying. Now let us move on to our final test. Identify the visual media below. Write the letter of the correct answer on a piece of paper. You can pause the video if you need more time. Your time starts now. Okay, your time is up. Answers will flash on screen for each question. Check your work and let's see if you got a passing score. For those who got 4 and 5, I'm proud of you. For those who got 3 and oh, below, no. nice try. You need to study more. Why do we study visual media? In this digital age, almost all people around the world connect to the internet for business and communication. People use websites and social media platforms to share ideas, opinions, and information. They integrate visual elements in their articles, social media posts, web pages, newsletters, print materials, and other media formats. Visual media can capture the attention of consumers or viewers, make their content relatable to the lives of the people, and understandable to everyone, and allows information to be processed faster. Visual media are visible everywhere to send us messages or ideas. We must know not only to look, see, describe, analyze what we see, but most importantly, we know how to interpret to become visually literate individuals. To recap, visual media refer to sources of information in the form of visual representations. The common types of visual media we often see around us are photographs, paintings, infographics, videos, posters or billboards, memes, GIFs, cartoon or comic strips, and many more. Visual media can help us to understand information better since they are well presented in the various types. So that ends my tutorial, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you'll get updated with my new uploaded videos. Also, please like, share, and thank you for watching.